hello guys welcome back so today i'm going to talk about like how to create a spring boot data jpa custom repository okay so basically like spring data repository reduces the boilerplate code by providing some predefined finders to access the data layer for various persistence layers okay so if you uh, if you define like your own repository like you should extend either a jpa repository or a credit repository right so but like if you want to like create like some custom repository how you are going to do that so that's what i'm going to discuss in this video okay so let me open this spring initializer guys so i'm going to create one repository by using this spring initializer okay so so let me create one project so i'm going to take spring data jpa custom repo okay so we need a few dependencies here so that is spring web dependency and we need um, mysql driver and we need lombok okay and we need like uh, jpa repository spring data jpa repository spring data jpa repository okay so you can generate this project and you can import it your id so i already imported this project into my id okay to save that time and so now so what we need to do is we have to create first of all like one entity one repository and after that we have to create finally controller so let me create one entity class guys so i'm going to create entity class inside the model repository okay so that is employee entity so i'm going to annotate with entity so here we need few properties here so that is int id and we need um so string first name and we need string uh so last name okay so so this is id guys and we need generated value so we need to define the strategy so i'm going to define so generated type is automatically should be generated okay so finally we need few lombok annotations okay so no arguments constructor and all arguments constructor so that's it our entity is ready and we need a repository okay so that repository is a interface guys so i'm going to create inside the repository so so i'm going to take employee so repository okay so this repository should extend basically so in normal way how we can do that by using either jpa so repository or cred repository i'm going to take jpa repository i'm going to use um, employee class and our type is integer okay so it's pretty straightforward okay so why i have created this is so i want to save some employee data into the database okay that is the reason i created this repository and i need one controller so let me create controller guys so employee controller okay so this is i'm going to annotate with rest controller and so here so i'm going to auto y so our so employee repository okay so we need a method to um save the data into the database right so i'm going to return so that method as employee okay so create employee so which is going to take a request request body so i'm going to pass this employee object through the request body guys so let me create so i'm going to return employee so repository dot save okay so i'm going to save this employee object it's pretty straightforward right there is no confusion so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one more repository okay 
so that is custom repository guys so basically like i want to uh, fetch the employee list like based on the employee's first name so that's what i'm going to do now by using custom repository so i'm going to create the custom repository here so that name is i'm going to take employee so custom so repository okay so i think i have created interface okay that's fine so so basically like i'm going to okay return list of employees here okay so i'm going to find by first name okay so i'm going to find so all the uh, employees information is going to start with first name so that's what i'm going to do here okay so now so i want to pass parameter as string first name okay so this is interface so i want to write one more class so that is implementation class guys so let me create that employee so custom repository so implementation class okay so this is going to implement our employee custom repository okay so here i am going to implement that method okay so that find by first name method okay so so what i'm going to do is so here i'm going to create one sql okay so that string sql so basically like i want to fetch it i want to fetch it like employees information based on some data by using that first name right so that's what i'm going to write here so i'm going to take select e from employee e okay so there e dot first name okay so first name uh so so i'm going to write okay so this is first name okay so this is this is sql guys so now so what i'm going to do is so here we need a entity manager basically so entity manager entity okay so this entity manager i'm going to auto wipe this entity manager okay so so i'm going to make use of this entity manager here okay so entity manager dot so basically we have create query method inside that so create query so inside create query i'm going to pass this sql and after that so i'm going to pass our employee class object as well so employee class okay so it's pretty straightforward so basically this is going to be written some query here right so let me return that so type type query basically okay so this type query will take employee okay so employee class here so this is query okay so our query is ready now so what i'm going to do is so query dot so i want to set it the parameter right so set it the parameter here so basically I am passing the first name, so first name as parameter. Okay, so let me so pass this first name. Okay, this first name. Okay, I am passing here, so this should be match. Okay, so I just created SQL and I just uh, created query, and I am setting the parameter to this query, guys. So it's uh pretty straightforward okay there is no confusion so what i'm going to do is i'm just returning so that query result here so so query dot so get result list basically i want employees list here so that is the reason so i took this result list okay so that's it guys it's completed so now okay so let me save this so our employee custom repository and employee custom repository implementation classes both are ready now okay what we need to do is so we have to use this employee custom repository in our controller right 
so what we need to do is we have to so extends in our actual repository so our initially we have written one repository right so this is repository right so here okay sorry guys actually i should write here okay yeah so instead of writing in repository i just wrote in model so i just like uh, uh, cut there and just paste here okay so so like uh, so what we need to do is we have to okay extend this employee custom repository inside our employee repository class basically we initially extends this jp repository right so here also we have to extend this okay so you can just provide the comma and you can just provide your custom repository okay so then directly we can use our employee repository in our controller class to make use of this employee custom repository methods okay so that's how i'm going to write so what i need to do is basically i need to create so one more method in the controller so that is uh, so i need to get it list of employee objects right okay so employee object so find by first so first name okay so here i'm going to pass as path so path variable here so path variable so i'm going to take it this path variable as first name okay so string first name okay so that's it so now so it's going to return so employee repository dot find by first name so this name is available here okay so pass this first name and so i'm going to annotate with so get mapping so i'm going to take okay so employees okay so we need to pass first name here and that's it <coughs> and so I, here i forgot to add post mapping guys so post mapping so i want to create the employee object here okay so that's it so it's ready guys so we have uh, written like repository and the custom repository and the controller class so all uh, <coughs> so all classes are ready now okay so now so basically like we need uh, application that ml file okay so inside this so we need to define like our uh, mysql properties okay you can just define here now i'm going to start the application guys so so let me open our main class so let me start this so it's going to take like a couple of seconds and after that we can test out like our employee custom repositories whether it's working or not okay yeah it started guys so let me open uh, let me create some data here okay so i just took like first name and the last name so the first name is abc and the last name is tom so let me send this and see whether it's working or not okay it's added successfully so let me take another last name as jerry so it is also is added successfully okay so now so we have written one custom repository and inside that we have written one more method okay uh, which name is going to start with the first name abc and i'm going to um, i'm going to fetch that employee's information okay so let me take get 
method here and I'm going to pass the first name as ABC okay so get mapping and ABC let me send this and see whether it's working or not see this so let me maximize this guys see here we got two employees okay so these two empl employees names is starting with ABC okay so it's working perfectly guys so that's it so I'm going to attach this uh, this application in the my git repository you can get it from there okay so if you have any doubts so please let me know in the comment section I will try to help you so if you like this video so please go ahead and like this video thanks bye have a good day